All of you play very distinct characters. An important part of acting is sort of putting your own stamp on a character. But given the popularity of these books, did you guys feel a little more restricted in that regard? No, mm. I, I didn't. I mean, I, I felt that Gary really knew what he wanted. Um, he was very close to the book. He was very close to Suzanne. Um, he knew what he was there to do. And, and I think that uh, he brought the book to life. Yeah, in, in, in a great way. I, I saw it the other day and didn't miss anything. Were all of you guys fans of the books before? Uh... Only me in this room. I was the only one that had only, read Only them. because he and I didn't know about it. That's right. Yeah. Not that we didn't like it or just we didn't know about they're it. Not the, they're not the typical demographic for the book, so they had not yeah. read it like I did. I do have a bit of a tween mentality, That's though. true. You are. If anyone's <laughs> yeah. down with tweens, it's Thank this you. guy. <laughs> Which one of you had to spend the most time in makeup? Oh, uh, not even close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think I got to work take? two and a half hours every day, yeah, uh, about. I mean, some of that was just messing about. Like, it just took, you know, we would just hang out. But, yes, two and a half hours every day. Does that process help create a certain bitterness in your character, or, or does it help inform your character? No, I mean, the, the transformation, I mean, there is no Effie without that look. You know, Suzanne Collins wrote her pink-haired and crazy outfits, and, you know, I am the representative of the Capitol in the movie, so we had to go for it. I, would, I wouldn't have settled for anything less. I would have taken three hours if that's what it took. I mean, you, I needed that. You would have given really, that extra half that hour. Extra half hour. I really just needed to, yeah. to be uh, Effie. That's a I really beautiful, needed uh, it to be Effie. It's remarkable yeah. dedication. Thank you. I think so. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> No, that is. True. I got up at four o'clock in the morning. You strolled to set, put a wig on, and show went in. Let's go. That wig didn't take two and a half hours. No, that and somehow his call time minute. was always later. We were yeah. always there before he was. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry you know, about that, guys. He I'll make it all up fresh. to you on the next one. <laughs> uh, this, these books, this film are such a phenomenon. So highly anticipated. Uh, what's it like being in the middle of it all? In the middle of all the hype. I don't feel it yet. No. I think people need to see it, you know, and then it'll be, it'll wash I mean, around. I've been on tour, so I haven't been, except that the, the strange thing I have noticed is that people are starting to have Cinna signs in my concert <laughs> or, or, or calling me Cinna after the show, you know, and having, and, and bringing Hunger Games books and posters. So it definitely, there's, there's a, it's gotta be a, odd. There's a Hunger Games fever going on. You, this has opened your music up to a whole new demographic. Yeah, I'm going to start making capital music now. <laughs> Futuristic, you know, capital music. Can you guys remember anticipating anything as much as a lot of people anticipate this, like when you were kids? Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I wanted some Star Wars. I mean, yeah. I remember when Empire Strikes Back came out. The new Led Zeppelin album, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a you know, good you, you, You'd camp out at Tower Records for that. You remember yeah. when people used to camp out? For album releases, yeah, up on Sunset. Man. I can't they, they, oh, yeah. I can't out for in excess tickets. tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We slept overnight for in excess tickets. Well, well worth it. <laughs> Michael <laughs> well, Hutchins. Michael Hutchins was the hottest mofo around back in the day. I know he was a genius. He was. Great. Never tear us apart. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. <laughs>